I was just so embarrassed. Someone walked by literally at the front of my car and was staring at me holding this camera. I literally just turned the camera on and I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome, my name is Melissa and today is an errands day. I was gonna do this tomorrow, but you know, I was in the mood to go ahead and get this done today. So I'm gonna take you along with me. I have a list of places that I am gonna go to, but it's mostly gonna be geared toward like plant related things. Um, I do have a few things I am looking for. We are gonna stop in a Lowe's and a TJ Maxx and a Target. I just pulled up at a UPS store. I have a return, that's something that I bought that didn't work right, so I'm gonna take that back. And I have to get something printed out to get something notarized. Uh, the state of Georgia where I live here in Savannah requires a license to be able to ship plants out of the state through their like Department of Agriculture. So I have to get something notarized for that. So I'm going to do that in there. And then Starbucks is uh, right over there. Of course, I have to stop and get a coffee to motivate me to get all these errands done. And then I think first I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and look around just for maybe like 30 minutes to browse. I'm looking for a big white planter for my Monstera Aria that I just repotted. And I'm also looking for a plant stand. It doesn't necessarily have to be for plants. For like my shop, I, I already have like a white backdrop and everything, but I wanted like a cute stand to like sit plants on so that I can take photos of them for the shop. But uh, I don't have enough stands that would actually like work to fit a plant. There, I do have a stand that I like that I'm thinking of using that one for photos, but I need something to replace the stand that that one is currently being used. <laughs> Um, so usually TJ Maxx has some good plant stands, but being this time of year, it being fall, I'm not sure what they have, but I'm just gonna look and see. I also have to go to the pet store and get some cat food. <laughs> I'm gonna pop in Lowe's to uh, probably after TJ Maxx, cause if they don't have a pot or anything in TJ Maxx, then I could probably find it at Lowe's. Uh, I have a couple returns uh, to do at Target. I have my bag here and receipt all ready to go. I bought a few things. Uh, I treated myself to a couple like new outfits, but a few of the things didn't fit right, so I'm returning those. And then I'll browse like the dollar section. I do have to get a few grocery items, which I might get in Target instead of stopping separately at a grocery store. Uh, but we'll see. But if I have time, I really wanted to treat myself and get my nails painted. I've only had my nails professionally done once this entire year. I normally do them myself. And I don't know, it's fall time. I just wanted to like treat myself to a gel manicure. I don't know. I like to treat myself every once in a while, not necessarily for a special occasion. I just, sometimes I just want to get a manicure. So I hope you enjoy this fun little like casual outing with me and hopefully we can find what we're looking for and I can show you some plants and everything in this video. We're going to head into UPS first and then pop over to Starbucks and then we'll be on our way to TJ Maxx. I just pulled up at TJ Maxx, so I'm excited to go in there. Um, I haven't been in a TJ Maxx in a really long time. I just saw that there was a spirit Halloween across the street. I'm like, I haven't been in a spirit Halloween in forever either, but I'm not going to stop in there. I ended up getting a dirty iced chai. I just wanted something that wasn't like necessarily a coffee taste. It has a shot of espresso in it if you've never had a dirty chai. I haven't had a chai in a really long time. I was just wanting something different, so... I got my return and paperwork signed. I had to end up going back home. <laughs> I left my phone at home and I needed it for the Amazon return. So I <laughs> had to go all the way back, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go into TJ Maxx and yeah, it'll probably be a voiceover for inside of the stores minus Lowe's because of the music in there. So yeah, I'm excited to go in and just see what they have. I, my goal is plant stuff, but I'm gonna look at the fall decor and stuff too. <laughs> Uh, so maybe we can find what we're looking for. This plant stand was perfect. I saw it right away <laughs> and I snatched it up. I was hoping I would find one in white. 
but it was the only one that I could find, so it definitely made my way into the shopping cart. I love TJ Maxx. I love just coming in here and browsing and seeing what I can find. I don't know, sometimes I feel like you just get so lucky and find such good pieces. Uh, I don't know, it just brings me so much joy. There was a ton of plant pots here. I honestly was surprised, especially with it being October. I didn't think I would find that many. I'm gonna show you more here in a little bit too. And they had so many cute pumpkins. I liked this one with the gold speckles on that. I thought that was really pretty. It was $7.99. And this one next to it I thought was really pretty as well. It has like orange and gold tones. And here's another one with the speckles on it. It was a little bit taller, but I thought that would be like a cute little set if you bought them together. I like buying things in twos and threes. Here's some more plant pots. And I had my eye on this one, but I thought it was a little too small and I didn't really care for that like lip on the bottom of it. So I didn't get that one. Um, really hoping I could find one uh, that would fit. I thought about this one too, but then I'm like, you know, I think it's gonna be a little small. And here's some Halloween decor. I spotted this immediately. I just thought this was so cute. Look at that cat, like a cat bat. I don't know what you call it. It was $19.99, so it was a little pricey. I thought that would be so cute if you put like a plant in the middle of that. And I found these mushrooms here. I thought that was adorable. They had so many mushroom knickknacks in this TJ Maxx this time of year. I don't know if that's like a trend going around, a mushroom trend. They even had it in like that bronze color and then the white color here as well. This planter was absolutely adorable. The uh, trim on it looked like butterfly wings to me. <laughs> it was $12.99, so I didn't think that was a bad price at all. And here is another little mushroom. So cool. And they even had these like velvety ones. <laughs> Here is an end cap full of planters, more of them. I was just blown away with how many were in here. This one was adorable, I wished it was bigger. It was only $7.99. Look at all these, just insane. <laughs> this green one here is really pretty. I loved the tone on that. And they also had a yellow one here. It was on clearance, I think it was $4. Uh, yes, I thought that was really cute for fall. Yeah, just so many here. Next, I made my way to the like kitchen section. Sometimes I use like mugs as a plant pot. Uh, I didn't see any that I liked. This was adorable. I loved this tone of green. I think technically it was like a drinkware, glassware. And this black one was adorable too. I like looking through this stuff because it's good like propagation vessels. You could use it for water, uh, fluval stratum, anything really. You can even flip some of this stuff over and use it as like a plant stand to elevate some of your plants up. This cat one was really cute. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. I love all the orange colors. This little bowl I thought was really cute too. And what else was here? Cake stands and stuff you can use to elevate plants up to. I found this little cute jewelry case. That was adorable. I didn't know if you could use it for some type of terrarium, if it would really hold in humidity that well. That case was adorable as well.
I made my way back to the kitchen section and I found these little glass vases. I guess they're just storage containers, but I immediately, immediately thought of a terrarium. This one was only $7. How freaking adorable was that? They had so many different ones that you could choose from. I had forgot about this section until last minute, so I had to check, of course. And I over here was the like plant shelves, well, just like shelving units and stands. I was looking to see if there was anything that possibly caught my eye. I think these ladder shelves are so cute. They would be perfect for plant stands. This one was $69.99, so not too bad. They had this shelf here. It was a little big, uh, not quite what I was looking for. They had a lot of furniture pieces here. And towards the middle of the section, you could see just how much they had here. There was so much to go through and look at. Some more ladder shelves over here. I thought this one was really cute. Uh, it was $100, kind of pricey, but I thought that color was, it was like a whitewash in a way. It was really pretty. This stool was cute too. It was 50. I love the little foot pedals on that, the round little pieces. And this actually was an ottoman, so it opened up for uh, storage. And they had a few more plant stands and stuff here in this middle section. This was really pretty too. So I just finished up in TJ Maxx. It was fun. It was really crowded, which is strange. It's Tuesday, but I feel like it is so crowded. Uh, <laughs> I don't really come out, you know, and browse and shop that often anymore because, yeah, I just don't like crowds and all that, but it was very crowded, but it was fun. It was fun to look at everything. I did get some things, so there's gonna be a haul at the end of the video because I still am needing some stuff on my list. <laughs> Um, I actually just called a nail salon in the area and they can get me in now. I haven't been to this nail salon, so I hope it's good. It was just like a minute from this TJ Maxx. Um, I just like uh, pulled it up on the maps and I don't know. I usually just go with uh, ones that have better reviews. <laughs> this one had a 4.5 star rating, so I'm going to try it out and see if it's any good. So as soon as I get my nails done, I will pop back on to bring you guys in Lowe's and we'll uh, go look at some plants next. These pots are staring at me. Here's the beautiful Marble Queen. $23.98 for these ones. There's a Enjoy Pearls and Jade. There are two. We have a neon and lots of little plants here. Oh, look, some calatheas, some orbifolia here. Look how cute that is. Oh, I don't see a price though. There's a similar pot for $25.98. There's a couple calathea orbifolias. Uh, alocasias, peace lilies, cutie little calathea here. There's the alocasia ivory coast. Lots of little ficus there. Let's see, what is hanging up? Here's another pearls and jade enjoy. This one is $16.98 in those pots. Here's the Cebu blue, $16.98, urban jungle. We have a Brazil philodendron. Here's a Hoya. Looks like maybe a Hoya Chelsea. It is $19.98. It's not bad for a big size. I feel like this one grows really slow too, so I feel like that's a good deal. Here's a couple uh, Brazil back here in small baskets for $7.98. We got a few of those. Some little golden pothos and some heart leaf, ferns and begonias. Wow, look at the staghorn fern. Look at that big basil frond on that thing. 
How much is this guy? Six uh, ninety-eight, seven bucks. Look how cute that is. That's a good deal on one of those. We have big baskets of the Hartley philodendron for twenty. Oh wow, we have more Cebu and Mikans over here. Look at that, philodendron Mikans. That's a good find. It is $13.98, $13. I remember when these were really hard to come by. That's a great deal. And it looks very happy. I would totally buy this if I didn't have one. Lots and lots of Cebu Blue for uh, 13 as well. It's kind of crazy seeing these here. Some little Peperomias down in there. It's beautiful neon philodendrons. Lots of hanging baskets. We have a Syndapsis here. Strawberry Begonia. It's a beautiful lemon lime back there. And there's a huge neon philodendron basket as well. Lots of begonias and petonias. Lots of succulent planters here for 25. Beautiful orchids, that one's really pretty. 19. So cool, the yellow on that. This one's really pretty too, that color. Uh, that one is $20, it's in a pretty pot too. That is so pretty. Let's see what's back here. Some mixed planters. We have some cocodamas. These are some bigger ones. It's got a few ferns. See, those are $15 for those. We have some with orchids. Is some lemon meringues down there. Oh, look at that staghorn there. That one is 22. Look at that huge basil frond. Some Calathea syngonium down here. We have some more hanging baskets. Here's another Cebu Blue. Well, that one has a fenestration there. Right there, that's cool. Are we shopping for Halloween? Or are we shopping for Christmas right now? I think it's so funny that Halloween and Christmas is out right now. Look at my hair, the wind, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> oh, that was fun to go in there and look around. I feel like they have some good, cute things. Um, there is a Home Depot like right up there, but I'm not gonna pop in there. Uh, you saw I put a planter in my truck, truck, trunk. <laughs> um, they had those gallon, I think it said 2.75 gallon is why I ended up using for my Aria and they had those buckets here so I was taking that bucket and trying to sit it in all the pots to make sure it would fit and the only one that would fit that was white it was it was that plastic one um I think it was like 15 bucks but the ones I was looking at on Amazon were like $60 for a hefty duty like nice white ceramic but I didn't want to pay that much so that one will be fine it's going to be a little bit of a different shape than what I was looking for. And it's probably just a little bit big, but I think it'll be okay. If I don't like it, I'll just return it. But I'm gonna see how it looks with the Monstera in it, and then um, I'll go from there. It is a very hot. I'm gonna pop in the pet store really quick, and then Target is my last stop <laughs> since I got my nails done already. The color is so pretty. <laughs> I don't know the name of it though. Um, 
it was like a brand I had never heard of. I guess maybe that salon used a specific brand, but it wasn't OPI or anything. Um, it looks kind of just like a pretty brown color. I don't know. <laughs> um, I was going to stop at the grocery store, but I'm just going to get a few grocery items at the Target while I'm in there because I have to do the return is the main reason why I'm popping in there. Here is the loungewear set I got uh, last week. This green was so pretty. This is literally so comfy. Um, they had it in the PJ section and I came here to get it in black, this one here. They also had it in a gray collar, but the green is so beautiful. So if you saw me wear that recently, this is where I got it. Uh, so comfy. They had some Halloween decor in the middle of the store, not in the actual Halloween section. My eyes were drawn to the skeleton planter because I thought, I was thinking like a planter for a plant and it didn't have a price on it. So I didn't know how much it was. There were a couple here, but I just thought that would be so cute to stick a plant in there to add like a little Halloween piece to my plant room. And I was looking around, they had some plant pots here, but nothing that really caught my eye. Some of that stuff was kind of expensive. And I don't know what these green and white balls were. I honestly was laughing so hard when I found these. I guess it's some sort of pillow, but I didn't know if that was a trend. I just, I thought that was so funny. Here's another mushroom piece. Again, I feel like there's some kind of mushroom theme going on in all these stores. I was tempted to get that one, but I didn't. I just got back home and I'm gonna do the haul portion really quick with you. I feel like it's been an all afternoon thing, but I'm glad to be home. Traffic was a little bit crazy. <laughs> Quickly just show you what I got at Lowe's because I just got one item. It's this pot here. And I believe this will fit the Monstera. Maybe I will do that really quick after the haul. Just put the Monstera in here. And it's just like a cheap plastic. I think this was like $16.99, $15.99, something like that. I feel like this will work, but if I don't like it, I might just return it and uh, get something else. So we'll see. I feel like it's a little bit big for that shelf. So I don't know. I'm not thrilled with this, uh, but we'll see. I, I'm gonna see how it goes. Next was Target, and Target I had an exchange. They have this cute loungewear set, and I had to get it in black. I. Uh, was in there last week and I bought it in a pretty green color. It was gorgeous. So, and it was 30% off this week, which is perfect. So it's just a long sleeve lounge set. This is in black. It's really cute. The brand is the Stars Above. It's like, I guess you consider it like a sleep wear, but I'm just considering it a lounge wear. And then you have the pants here. It's a really soft material. I like this brand. They're like cozy stuff. So yeah, the pants and the top were 30% off. But yeah, they were $19.99 a piece, so 30% off. So you're saving $6, $12 total. So instead of spending 40, it was only 
uh, $28. So I think that's a good deal. One more thing at Target was this spooky, uh, I don't know, skeleton planter, if that's what you call it. I feel like that would look so cute, just sitting a nursery pot in there just to like Halloween spooky up an item in my plant room. I actually don't know the price of this. It's something I just put in my card and I don't normally do that. Let's see what it's ringing up as. Four, two, five, ten dollars. So that's not bad, ten dollars. And it's a, like a ceramic. It doesn't have any type of drain hole or anything. I don't know. I guess it's just a display, but I think it'd be perfect for a plant for Halloween. So I had to get this. This is an item I got from TJ Maxx. It was $5.99. And I just thought this acrylic little jeweled case was so pretty. Luna is jumping on the fridge right now. And it does open. Is it taped? Oh yes, it's taped right here, but it opens. And I wanted to put something in here. Uh, I just thought that would be so cute to sit on my desk and to put something in there. I love acrylic and jeweled things like this. So this was so cute. I adore this. This next item I really didn't need at all, but it was on clearance. It's a letter M. Luna. And it was on clearance for $6. I don't know what the original price is. Um, oh, here it goes, $7.99. So I saved $2. But I thought it was so pretty. I like how it has flowers and leaves and little birds. I just thought the design was so cute. And so I can sit that on my shelf or something, let her know. I don't know, I saw that and I had to, I had to get it. I couldn't pass that up for $6. This next item is probably my favorite item because uh, it's just so cute. I was browsing through like the kitchenware and this is like a little like storage jar. I don't know, it's probably for food, but it has like a uh, cork thing that you plug in there. And this would be so cute as a mini terrarium. I was thinking about filling make a slight layer, layer of fluval stratum and sticking an alocasia corm in here and like plopping that in there and it will hold in humidity. How cute is that? I have to like uh, get this sticky residue off, but it just says it's a storage jar. That's the tag right there. It's probably gonna be backwards for you. Storage jar with cork lid is all it says. It's a borosilicate glass, whatever that means. And this was $6.99. So not bad. They had some taller ones too that I was looking at, but I think I thought this little petite one was so cute. This was the only little one that I saw. It was so cute. So that was a must have. What I was really in TJ Maxx for was to get a plant stand. And this was the only one that I really liked. It was $16.99. It has like a uh, marbling uh, top to it. It's very heavy, this uh, metal piece, and it has sparkles. I don't know if the sparkles are gonna pick up with the lighting. I don't think it's gonna pick up the sparkles, but it's really cute. And it's like a hairpin leg stand. It's not very big, probably like uh, 15, 16 inches, maybe something like that. So I have one in my plant room that is sitting the mother lights, except it's a white marbled top with gold hairpins. Um, so I might switch that out uh, and put this in my plant room since the lights are black and then use the white and gold hairpin leg stand just like this one for plant photos because that was what I was looking for initially because this one is a little bit smaller. So some like, I feel like uh, this would be more noticeable in photos and I kind of want the plant to be the main focus and not the stand. So I'll probably end up switching it. But yeah, I, th I thought this was so cute. I love these hairpin legs from TJ Maxx. They're such good quality too, and they're pretty inexpensive. And I did treat myself to two shirts because I haven't bought like clothes in a long time. And I just thought they were really cute. I couldn't pass them up for fall. This is the first one. It's like a white and green uh, sweater. It has some really long sleeves on it. It's a little bit cropped, not a ton cropped, but I feel like I would probably want to wear something under it maybe, or um, higher jeans, like a high rise or something. But that pattern was so cute. It's like a minty 
green, sage green color. And it was $16.99 and it's by the brand Moon and Madison. Never heard of them before. So cute. I'm definitely gonna wear this once it gets colder. The next one is by Lucky Brand. I like the Lucky Brand stuff at TJ Maxx. I feel like it's pretty good quality. And this one is a long sleeve uh, shirt. It's like a button down. And I love the white and neutral brown. It kind of matches my nail color in a way. I forget the name of what these shirts are exactly called, but it's really cute. You can either wear it buttoned or you can open it up and wear like an undershirt under here. I don't know, it's really cute. And this one was, I think this was 16. Oh, this one was 24.99. That was definitely more than what I was expecting. But it's cute, it'll last me a really long time. And I got it uh, in a large, so it's a bit oversized. So I like it, I'm definitely gonna wear it. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. And I like neutrals too because they can go with a lot of different things. So that is it. That is everything I got. That is my haul. Um, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Um, I might be returning this and find something else. Uh, I don't think I like that. I thought the nursery pot was bigger. The one that I had at the store that I was testing out must have been a bigger size of the black pot. It's definitely kind of big for it right now. I don't know, do we like it? Do we not like it? I'm gonna have to sit on it. I'll leave it sit up here and just like think on it for a little bit. That window is very bright. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little shopping trip haul vlog. It was a lot of fun. It was nice to go out and do this. I feel like, I feel like a, a perfect day, well, not a perfect day, but a fun day for me is just I love being at home, but I love going out and just spending a day just browsing like TJ Maxx with a coffee and just going to some of your favorite stores and just kind of browsing and just seeing what you come home with. And you don't necessarily have to buy something, but still just like, uh, I don't know, it's so much fun. And Target has to be included in there too because I love browsing Target. I used to do that every week when I worked um, at the hospital. It was like my escape. I loved going to Target every week and just browsing. And I would spend hours there on a day off and I got a coffee and it was just so much fun for me. I just enjoyed that so much. Let me know if you like this. I, I would be happy to do another video, maybe like around Christmas time or something. I can browse, see what kind of planty stuff I can find. <laughs> but again, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys again soon.